Oh, hey y'all, it's me, Groudon, and I'm here to do a video game review. Now, what video game am I reviewing? I think it says itself. I'm reviewing Pokemon Omega Ruby, as well as its version partner, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Now, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire were released on November 23rd, and they are remakes of Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire, both released in 2003. Yeah, don't you feel fucking old? Now, you know you are playing a remake when the Pokemon Center and the Pokemon are separate buildings. We have not seen this shit since Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Now these remakes have been long anticipated. Even before X and Y were released, we all saw them coming. Now the great thing about Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire is it is the first time we are seeing the Hoenn region generated in a 3D world. And it is amazing. It is fucking good. Now as you begin the game from the start, you're mostly only going to find Generation 3 Pokemon, just as if you were playing the original Ruby and Sapphire. But don't fret, once you get off your lazy ass and beat the Elite Four, Pokemon from other generations will become available. Now you remember them secret bases? You know, the little holes in the wall that you crawl into and make your own little pimped out pad that you can invite hoes to to bang the shit out of them. Yeah, those are back, but what purpose do they really serve? I mean, come on. They're just kind of there. Uh, the cosplay of Pikachu is a new and very cute concept, and to be honest, she's quite handy with her very special move, depending which costume you put her in. Now, the Mega Evolutions make a return in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, both the old ones and some new ones that introduce. However, a new feature the game introduces is the primal forms of Groudon and Kyogre. They are activated by having them hold the red orb and blue orb, and they are automatically triggered when they first come out in battle. Best part is, you're not limited to having one primal per battle. You can have both of them. Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre, side by side, all badass like. And it like them damn fucking Mega Evolution where you can only have one per battle. Can we also talk about the upgrade in appearance for Team Magma's General Maxi and Team Aqua's General Archie? Look at this. It's such an improvement of over how they used to look. They look individual. They look unique. They don't look generic. Maxi looks like he will school the shit out of you. While Archie looks like he'll get you in a choke slam, then finish you with a pile driver and pin you for the one, two, three count. Now, one of the things I appreciate most about Game Freak is that they're always trying to appeal to, to both the little kids who are getting into Pokemon for the first time, as well as us veterans that have been following their works since 1998. They put nice little Easter egg nods to us veterans in the game, for example, the Street Pass feature that allows you to interact with other people who also own the games. The in-game scientists refer to it as the Link Cable. And if you do not get that reference, then you are too fucking young to be watching my channel. And then there's the music that accompanies the three legendary dogs of Johto.
Now, I do enjoy the post-game feature of flying over Hoenn on the back of Megalatios or Megalatias. And it's also handy because it allows you to travel around the map without using up a slot in your party with a Pokemon that knows fly. The cinema in this game is also really nice and elaborate and quite entertaining. I enjoyed seeing Rayquaza burst clear through a meteorite and then have Deoxys come out of a triangle. That was, that was some interesting cinema right there. Now if I had some complaints, one of them would be that the game is too damn easy. Why are my Pokemon's levels higher than the gym leaders? I haven't even been training that much. I just been going through the game at a quite casual pace. Here is my entire battle with the 8th gym set to quadruple speed. Don't blink y'all or you'll miss it. The Elite Four is also way too easy. The only one that had a full team of six was the champion Steven. And even then, his Pokemon's levels were only a couple higher than my own. Back in the good old days, the Elite Four's levels were about 20 higher than yours, and they were a motherfucking bitch. Now, if I had to choose one upset to be the biggest, it would be that there is no trainer customization in this game. That was my favorite aspect in Pokemon X and Y, and I do not understand why Game Freak felt that they should keep it out of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I know, I know, I get it. In the original Ruby and Sapphire, there was no character customization. But guess what? There wasn't no damn Mega Evolutions either, and those have been brought over. So what the fuck, Game Freak? Another thing that makes Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire awful OP is that the Legends are too available. The new generation of gamers got it too damn easy. What's even more bullshit is that you can't unlock some of the uh, third wheel Legends of some of the iconic ones. For example, the Ice and Dragon type Caillou Rim. You will not even find him in your game as you are flying or over Hoenn, unless you have both Reshiram and Zekrom in your team. And seeing how Reshiram is only found in Omega Ruby, and Zekrom is only found in Alpha Sapphire, you better sure as shit have played Pokemon Black or Pokemon White and gotten the other one and then imported over. That's what I had to do, and it worked. I got my Caillou Rim, and he is amazing. But guess what? What if the newbies want to do this? What if a little kid wants to have his own Caillou Rim? Well, guess what? That little motherfucker has to beg and beg mommy and daddy to get him both Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire are a couple of amazing remakes. They were worth waiting for, but, well, be honest, they don't quite meet the bar that X and Y set. Therefore, Bad Girls Bitch Vlog is Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire for the 3DS a 9 out of 10. Keep it real, y'all. Bad Girls Salute. Bad to the bone. Bad to the bone. Bad.